So, another Saturday, done and dusted. So what have we done? The ceilings are now insulated, and then up there, we started putting the frames in for this gap. So we're gonna put some uh, window up there. It's got that done. The orange is cracking on at an alarming rate. Um, so yeah, good progress today. Just had to bring the frames in from outside because we want to paint them. Didn't envisage July, we'd be painting them inside. It's pouring down with rain again. Have found a leak in the roof, so thank you, landlord. Two little leaks in the roof that we need to deal with now. Thank you. Uh, more tomorrow. Another, uh, another day. Um, tried the grey paint around the edge of the frame. Uh, that's the undercoat, but that is the sort of finished colour it's going to be. Um, in here now. So yesterday we finished. We're starting to see them, but we got these uh, these windows all up now. They've all been primed. They're all in there, fixed permanently. All been primed. Just started trying to fix some timbers to this wall, but running into a bit of a problem. The concrete panel is actually incredibly thin. I mean, like silly thin, about an inch thick. So that's going to take a bit of uh, a different type of fix, and I'm going to have to come up with there. Um, the subframes for the plastic windows, which hopefully will be here tomorrow, are now um, primed one coat. And again, that's that grey we're going to go for on the outside. When you uh, right next to Farron and Ball, you're going to use Farron and Ball paint, I think we're going into. <laughs> um, but anyway, the primer's really good, really pleased with that. Um, so. Yeah, it's got a big list of stuff we need to order now, a bit more timber, polycarbonate for the windows up there and something for the ceiling. Um, cracking on, more later. So a quick one this evening, managed to get around here about five, seven o'clock, so I'm in a couple of quick gavel hours. That's the old window that was in that hole there, so now, let's have a look from the outside, it's less sunlight. And now we have a new window, plastic window, double glazed, low emission glass. Uh, love to have used the old ones, but they were buggered basically. They would have cost more to paint and sort out and sort of glazing out and putting new in. Um, I have to say, never taken metal windows out of a concrete building. Um, they must have been built in as they go. They had a flange all the way around, I had to beat off to get the window. It came out quite easy then, but really. Um, yeah, it wasn't how I expected them to come out. So that's in there. Another one to go in over there. One to go in over there. Moving forward more later. 